Welcome to the part of the daily report every Thursday that we like to call the insight. And on insight tonight, we want to give you insight into something very different and something very, very cool, if I do say so myself. And to help me break this down, I have two people in the studio. Uh, the first is Simon Adem. He's the chair of the Deaf Artists Culture Association of Kenya. And to help both of us do this a little bit better, we have Catherine Similoy, who's of course our sign language presenter or interpreter, who's in the studio as well. So good people of Kenya, join me to welcome Simon Adam. Karibu sana. Hello, how are you doing? Hello, how are you? Good to see you. Thank you so much. Fantastic, fantastic. Thank you for joining us. It's, it's a great pleasure to have you on, in our studios tonight. Thank you so much. Fabulous. Now, let, let, let's start by talking to Kenyans about what you do. Uh, in brief, what does your organization do? Uh, thank you for that question. Uh, like I said, my name is Simon Adam. I am the CEO, DACAC, Deaf Artist Culture Association. The main thing that we do with the organization is to advocate and also to showcase uh, on uh, deaf film, dancing, modeling, culture, and everything else around the deaf people. So as, I'm also a student. Oh, I'm great. Still studying. What do you study? Uh, taking a uh, hostess, uh, sorry. Oh, great, great. So tell me something, in, in your work and in, you know, advocating for these spaces that you do, the, you know, the, the arts and culture and film and music and so on, what challenges have you encountered? Uh, there are a number of challenges, especially in our country now. Uh, the first thing that I will say is access to the information as artists. We normally get the information quite late and uh, probably for uh, when it comes to government programs about fundings and everything else, we get the information very late. That's the challenge. Mm. And another challenge is our, as deaf uh, youth, it's very hard for us to get opportunities out there is because you know number one we don't have fans and another challenge as deaf youths once they complete their secondary school uh, for them to advance on the skills probably like become an editor or what it's also a challenge or maybe to improve on your on their talents and help them it's also a problem because mm. 